Hello everyone. It's just a quick message from me to say that we're so excited at school to welcome you back from the 29th of June. Our staff will work tirelessly to make sure that our school environment will be safe for you. And we've prepared a range of materials to support the reopening of our school. This includes our guide for you and your families and the detailed risk assessment with the various control measures that we need to keep everyone safe. I can't emphasise enough the importance that you read this so that we collectively can keep everyone safe during the time that we spend together on site. And you would have noticed that we've developed our mantra, be kind, stay safe. I recognise everyone has found this period of lockdown very challenging. Families may have been separated, people that we care about may have become unwell, and in some cases, we may have lost someone that we may love. So as we return to our school family, it's important that we show kindness to one another, to support each other through this. There'll be opportunities each day for you to check in that you have a chance to explore some of these experiences that you may have had to go through during the lockdown, but also to catch up on the core learning that you may have missed. And finally, to prepare how school will be in the medium term as our country tries to overcome the coronavirus pandemic. I'm sorry we're not able to get everyone back from the 29th of June. Our teachers and support staff have really missed all of you. However, as you know, it's not safe to welcome everyone back just yet. But part of our Be Kind, Stay Safe approach will rely on your ability to work with us, which we know that you will do. We're asking everyone to be sensible and to show respect for each other. This will enable everyone to have a worthwhile experience where they feel safe and also where they can try and get some normality. So how can you do this? Well, the week prior to your face-to-face -face experience, your family will receive a letter from school which describes the specific details that are relevant to you. This will outline which zone you will go to, which class you will attend, what that room number is, and what your specific seat allocation will be. All of these things are designed to help reduce the amount of shared space used by everyone at school and to prevent social mixing where possible between different groups of students and staff. When you go to a class, we're going to be referring to that as a bubble. And you can help us and each other by following this information fully. So when you arrive at school, please go straight to your allocated bubble, take your seat to the designated space given to you and staff will be there to welcome you. Now, when you arrive at school, you will see lots of different visual displays to help you. This will involve markers on the floor to indicate certain one way systems. It's really important that you try and stick to this in order to reduce the number of people that you come into contact with. Throughout the day, your bubble will be given specific breaks. This includes lunch times, and these will differ from the other groups on site. Unfortunately, we're only able to provide a cold lunch so that we're able to feed everyone in line with the correct health standards. I'm sure you already know, but the main way to limit the chance of becoming infected with the virus is to maintain good hygiene. So we will be asking everyone to wash their hands regularly and you'll see on the plasma screens throughout the school, the NHS video on how you can do this. It should take you at least 20 seconds or the time it takes to sing happy birthday. For every classroom that you will come into contact to, and also all around the school, you will see fixed hand sanitizers. And we ask every time that you come in and out of a room that you sanitize your hands just to reduce the risk of catching the virus or spreading it to others. Now, during the time that you spend at school, we won't be expecting you or staff to wear a school uniform. The clothes you should wear should be machine washable and we don't want uniform issues to become a barrier to your attendance. However, please remember that you should wear something that is sensible, that allows you to undertake a range of activities, including physical activities. We will not be using exercise books or shared equipment, so it's important that you bring a pencil case and, where possible, a drinking bottle. Each student will be given a folder at the start of the week where work will be kept and you will then take that home at the end of your time with us. But the most important thing for everyone to do is to work with your teachers and the other staff on site. Please follow their instructions. 
These are for your safety and also for their safety. Now, I know some of this will not be easy and we may make mistakes, but it's essential that you cooperate with us throughout the next few weeks so that we can get back to normal as quickly as possible. You'll see that each bubble will have an allocation of teachers and support staff who will be on hand to help you during your time with us. If you have a problem, speak to them, they're there to help. You have made me and the rest of our school incredibly proud by the level of commitment you have shown throughout the lockdown period. I've seen so many positive messages about what so many of our students have done to raise money for charity, to care for others, and of course, to see some of your excellent work. You are a credit to our school. I know you will continue to make us proud throughout the next period of time, and I hope to see as many of you as possible in the next couple of weeks. Be kind, stay safe. Thank you.